Good morning and uh, welcome to today. It's Monday and um, got nine on the schedule. So what we're gonna do, right now I got this on movie mode. I got my camera on movie mode. And I'm starting to learn like all the different little presets that you can put it to like A and P and S and M and MR and movie and this and that. So uh, right now this is in movie mode. So I don't know, this is supposed to track focus better or something like that. It's like I'm supposed to be more focused and behind me should be a little bit blurry. That way it causes you to focus in on me and not the surroundings. It's supposed to make for a better video. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, let's go say hi to the birds real fast and then we'll tell you what we got going on today. Um, so I've been leaving the birds out at night because it's actually about as warm out here at night as it is in my home. Uh, it's in the mid 70s outside and I keep them covered so they don't get the wind, uh, you know, any drafts. Um, you know, and it's mid 70s in my home with the air conditioning. So what I've been doing is just putting the cover on them. And then, of course, you know, when I know it's going to rain or whatever, I bring them in because I don't want them, I don't want them getting too wet. But I did hose them off the other day in the sun, um, and they really seem to like that. Uh, so we got to go ahead and put some food and change out their water. They like to sit up here on this swing. I need to move this swing, and they sit on the swing and shit in the water. So <laughs> I need to fix that. Um, but, so we got nine on the schedule today. Oh, and I'm using a selfie stick with my, my, um camera here my Sony DSC HX80 so this is a selfie stick actually and so I can I can do this and like you see my arms not like super extended so I can do this and this I can put you guys like way out here and then like this all right this is probably my guy calling it probably has some form of issues oh no it's my friend okay I'll be right back Okay, so I'm back, and yep, that was my friend from Florida, and uh, we had to catch up a little bit. Um, so, what were we talking about? Oh, I moved the swing. I did move it. Let me see if I can. So now it's in the middle, and I just fed them, gave them clean water. The yellow one's singing, the blue one's eating. They're happy birds. <laughs> hey, buddy. So, uh, okay. Sorry about that. So, my, my guy showed up, and uh, I sent him out. Now, you guys know, if you follow me in the past, we do eight. Um, I have these eight really, really small yards. There's like, if you look at the grass here, if you go about 50% more, that's about how much grass is at each yard. Because the front yards are so, so tiny. And then the back yards are about this big. Um, so what I do is I send him out. And he does them eight yards uh, by himself. And I almost split it with him. Almost. Um, he has to lease the equipment from me. Because remember, he's a contractor. He's got his own business. So he's not an employee. Uh, but he doesn't have uh, enough funds saved up yet to get himself some decent equipment. He did get some equipment I helped him buy some equipment and uh, the shit fell apart on him uh, from a pawn shop so I don't know we'll, we'll just have to see what happens but so I sent him out with um, with my combi weed eater my steel combi weed eater today the echo edger with a new blade uh, extra spool of weed eater line uh, mix my TB360 uh, Troy built uh, 21 inch mower and my steel BG86 handheld blower. So I sent him out uh, and he goes and he does those eight yards every two weeks. Now it's nine yards because I picked up a new one. So we did the new one together last week, um, two weeks ago, just to make sure that I wasn't handing him off something that he wouldn't know how to handle, you know, something really bad. And it was kind of, uh, but now it's, it's fine. So he's going to go and do those nine yards with really no problem. And um, it'll take him to about almost, probably about 2.30, 3 o'clock he'll be done. Depends on how long of a lunch break he takes. Um, and that's a good deal. And, you know, and I welcome 
you guys to consider that in your business. Um, if you can get, you know, let's say you can get six houses on this, this little area right here, like in this area, five or six houses. There's nothing wrong with sending a guy out who's got his own truck with a push mower, a weed eater, an edger, a blower, and maybe a hedge trimmer, a rake and a garbage can. And let's say you got five $40 houses right here. So, you know, you're going to make 200 bucks. There's nothing wrong with saying to that guy, hey, here's the equipment. If he doesn't have any, here's the equipment. Here's the addresses. Go do those five houses. Here's a 20 to get gas if you need it. If he's his own business, he might have it. And, uh, you know, 200 bucks. And there's 200 bucks you're going to make right there. And you didn't leave the house. There's nothing wrong with doing that and paying him, you know, 80, 90, maybe a hundred dollars, splitting it with him. He does the work, you provide the equipment and the accounts, and you split it. So you make a hundred bucks today, at least, maybe 120. At least um, you got some maintenance to do on the machines and stuff like that, but you didn't leave the house. Now you might think to yourself, eh, you know, I'd rather go make the 200 myself. Well, sure, but let's just say you got something else to do. Um, or let's just say you're doing this part-time because you have a full-time job or let's just say you want to build up you know to a point where you can make a living on three days a week and you know and that's that's going to be okay and you know you got two days a week where you send contractors out to do some work or let's just say I go out pressure washing four houses today and make 500 bucks and then he does 200 and something dollars worth of lawns and so I make 100 bucks so now I make 600 bucks Right? And all I did is pressure wash five houses and I make 600 bucks. And he's out there sweating his balls off mowing. So there's lots of options. There's lots of reasons to do it. Uh, maybe you're injured. Maybe you got bad ankles. Maybe you got bad knee. Maybe you got surgery. Maybe your wife's pregnant. Maybe you need a break. Maybe any reason whatsoever. Um, it's nice to have. It's nice to have that option to be able to send somebody out and do that. You know, maybe you got three guys going out and doing that. So you got $600 being made. You pay $300 out, you make $300, and you really never get out of bed except to give them their route sheet and equipment that they may need um, and get them, you know, get them going in the morning. And then, you know, you go back to bed and, and do dirty things to your wife all day or, you know, your husband or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your dog, weirdo. But whatever, you see what I'm saying? I mean, it's up to you. Um, before I joined the military, my business was at a point where a lot of my work was done by contractors. Like big companies would go out and mow big properties for me. And I would pay them at the end of the month. And I'd get paid at the end of the month. And I'd keep the profit. You know, I'd keep what was left. And I was making a nice freaking living doing that. And the only thing that I would do is I'd head out on jobs like landscaping or you know mulch installation or rock or sprinkler service I would go out and do those types of jobs um, and my you know my other the companies that would work under me would they had their own equipment their own insurance their own business license they were paid 1099 so every penny I gave them I claimed it you know as, as an expense and they, it was up to them to do their own taxes that's their business um, but they were my accounts and you know they knew not to talk to the customer refer everything to me they never knew the prices of my accounts i never discussed it um but they were my accounts like miami subs toyota of hollywood county line lexus um all types of places down in uh, south florida i used to do and you know and it worked out great and i'd make a lot of money and i didn't have to spend thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars in big old commercial equipment to handle those accounts they already had it they had the 61 inch skag um you know with the t-bar turn handle where you sit right over the wheel the one wheel and then you got the two big huge drive wheels and then you got the big deck in front of you and it's got caster wheels i don't know what it's called but you know they had that shit um they had the big 52 inch hydro walk behinds and the, the 36 inch hydro walk behinds me the only thing i had was a 36 inch skag belt drive uh on a 5 by 10 open trailer with a a piece of shit weed eater and a blower and all that and I mean I was making four or five hundred dollars a day not leaving the house and I remember I used to drive around with my baby my son um, back when I was previously married I would drive around with him dropping off invoices or 
taken addresses of places that I wanted to drop, uh, um, you know, estimates, price quotes. And I used to have a nice little folder I'd put together about my company and that were licensed, insured, and some references that I was allowed to use that people would let me use as a reference. And, you know, I would go around and take that list. I'd go home, and then when my wife would get home, she'd keep the kids, and I'd go and just deliver. I wouldn't even say anything. I'd be like, hey, can I leave this for the manager? And I'd be like, yeah, sure, what is it? I'd be like, oh, it's a price quote for property maintenance, and it'd be in a manila envelope and addressed... Um, whatever the name of the place would be like Miami subs and then it would be store manager so nobody opened it except the manager and uh, it would just have a nice little little uh, cover sheet you know like a little homework assignment I'll have to show you how how I do it like a little like a report you would do for school um, pretty neat and that's what I used to do and I would get that place for you know like a Miami subs for hundred eighty five dollars a cut and then I'd call my buddy Dave up and I'd be like hey Dave man I got this I got this Miami Subs, man. Can you do it for 100 bucks? And he'd go buy there. Yeah, no problem. Okay, go do it. Every two weeks, 100 bucks. So, you know, I'm making 85 bucks on his work and, you know, move on to the next one. Not my gas, not my anything. He'd do it. I make 85 bucks uh, every two weeks. So, you know, you're talking $170 a month right there. So, my electric bill was paid. My home's electric bill was paid off of his work doing the Miami Subs. And then you just start multiplying that. So, sending my guy out today to go do those nine yards, you know, it doesn't make me rich, but it it does put me in a position to try him out. It gives him a sense of responsibility and ownership, and, you know, uh, I'm not beating my body up. I'm not nearly as beat up, worn out, and as tired as I am today as I was last year. Last year, I was, I was sick. I mean, I was crazy last year. Uh, and this year, it's not like that. So... Uh, I feel good. I really feel good. And, you know, we're going through this divorce with the wife right now. Um, but we're talking and everything is really, really good. We had some really great days uh, recently uh, of just talking, just getting stuff out that we've never been able to get out. And so that's awesome, um, you know, that we can do that. And... Um, Yesterday was Father's Day, and so I had a great day with my kids, and, you know, today I still got my kids, so that's another reason why I want to send my guy out, you know. So I spend 80 bucks today, but, you know, that 80 bucks I'm getting, uh, that's almost a third of what I'm making today, right? A third? 80, 160, 240. I'm almost, that's almost one third of what I'm, well, it's a little bit over one third of what I'm making today. So... I can't complain. I'm, and I mean, I'm sitting here with my kids. I'm about to take them up to the store to go get a, uh, a light. Let me show you. Um, I got the cruise back from uh, from my my wife. So we waxed it yesterday, but see the turn signal? The little clip broke off. They put a new bumper on because this car had lots of issues with paint and stuff. So GM fixed it. Uh, Chevy fixed it. Repainted the entire car and gave us a lifetime warranty on the paint uh, But when they put the bumper on they messed up the turn signal Light the little clip that goes here and I was trying to fix it yesterday and I ended up snapping it off So that's somewhere on the floor. Yeah, right here I ended up snapping it off so I'm gonna go see if I can find a new turn signal and just pop that in So right now my car is not being driven um but it's all waxed up, ready to go. And um, yeah, she decided she didn't want the car and um, whatever. So I got it back. So that's, you know, not to be overly discussed here on YouTube. But she didn't want the car, so I got the car back. And hey, I'll take it. So there we go. It's uh, 2014. It's got 19,000 miles on it. And it's like brand new. And I'll tell you what, after driving a, uh, after riding a zero turn all day and driving my Explorer Sport Track, my truck, when I get into this, this is my Lincoln. This is my Cadillac. This is my $36,000 truck. My, you know what I mean? This thing's so nice to sit in and ride in um, compared to what I'm on all day. So, you know, I'm easily pleased in this situation because of what I normally have. 
Uh, so, anyways, that's today. That's that's what's going on today. I don't know how much more I'm gonna video today. Um, shit, left my hose on. I gotta water my plants in the front yard there, the flowers, because it did not rain yesterday. And uh, oh, we bought these yesterday. Check these out. Super freaking bad ass. So me and the kids were rolling around on these yesterday. Oh my goodness gracious, are they cool. These big old wheels, man, they're only like 60 bucks. These big old wheels, it just rolls and rolls and rolls. So I'm looking forward, uh, 4th of July, I'm looking forward when I get my kids back, we're going to take these downtown and go tear up the streets. These will be easier to ride than the skateboards because they got such bigger wheels, so it'll handle the, it'll handle everything better. Um, and it's a little bit easier, you know. So that's that. But yeah, anyways, that's what's going on right now here at the Dan's household. Got a little mark there. Nothing a little flat black paint can't take care of. So I will. Uh, I gotta get the kids up, and we gotta get out of here. We gotta go to uh, GM and see if we can't find that that light. Uh, maybe I'll do some phone calls first, local phone calls. Oh, and then today the cleaners are coming to clean the house. So um, every two weeks the cleaners will come and clean my house for me now, and it's really nice, especially after the weekend that the boys leave. So they'll be gone. The cleaners will come in and get everything that the boys miss. Aim with. Although I try to wipe up behind them and I try to be careful with them. Still, it's nice to have them go through and really clean the bathrooms up. Um, so, yeah. So that's what's going on. Cool? So are we excited? I'm excited about today. I like sending my guy out. I like making money for sitting here doing nothing. So, um, not really doing nothing. But doing nothing. Uh, I'm going to spend a day with my kids. Okay, so guess what? Uh, I just called the first uh, GM dealer right here, Chevrolet. Here's the part that broke and here's the plastic part that's supposed to come around with some more plastic and then it pops in uh, and it snapped off when I was trying to pull it out stretch it out a little bit I should have heated it but I didn't and I broke it $37 for this part and they got it right up the street here at the GM so that's awesome hey guys say hello hey Matthew say hello hey no 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 to the camera no don't beat your brother up hey oh, I said hey hey because I could watch video because we're standing in no Wi-Fi oh yeah well the Wi-Fi goes down once we leave buddy so you're not gonna have uh, you're not gonna have Wi-Fi on your phone when we leave so uh, so then we're gonna go get this part and then uh, I put my car back together so I don't I don't want to drive it right now without without this part um, I don't want the light bouncing around and stuff so let's go get it okay guys so here's the difference between the two so you see the clip right here that my thumb is touching I broke that off the front one it's broke off and then the back one there it is so I was trying to spread it out so it would clip on clip on better and I ended up snapping it I should have melted it uh, a little bit just warmed it up and softened up the plastic but I didn't and so live and learn uh, so 38 bucks and it came with a bulb Came with the bulb and, and everything so I got a new bulb I guess 40 bucks with tax is what it actually came out to so whatever works out man we, we got it and now the car is whole once again we'll put it on well there we go fixed too easy now my car is whole again cool all right till the next one see what else we can do today Okay, so it's 2.20, uh, sitting here waiting on my guy to get finished up. He should be done here fairly soon. He's got he's on his last couple, uh, so he'll probably be here around 3, 3.15. Uh, so that doesn't work out too bad. And I'm going to answer a question that I've gotten twice now, and I, I don't know if it's from the same person or, per, person or not, uh, but here's the deal. Hey, Matthew, can you lower that volume a little bit, please? Thanks, buddy. Here's the deal. Uh... He wants to know a lot about how I do my hair and stuff, how I shave down. Um, I use baby oil on my head, all right? So here's the thing. Take the shears, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Like the walls or whatever, 
um, that you know you could put the different attachments on and shave your head all the way down with nothing no blade no no shield just to, to the skin you know and then what I do is I put baby oil on my skin the part that I want to shave and I'll use a razor blade I'll just use cheap twin blade and then I go down and down I can't go up if I go up I'll get ingrown hairs and bumps so it's not as smooth as you think it's not like you know really really smooth it's not like this okay there's hair here but you go down all right that's one way to do it once you do that every two or three days depending on how fast your hair grows you can use a microfoil shaver cordless or corded whatever and you can just use a microfoil and you know what the microfoils are right the electric face shavers instead of the ones that has the three round ones you use the microfoils it's got the two strips of of shaver oh my cleaners are here so you can use the microfoil shaver and you can do it that way too as far as my face is concerned Alright buddy, as far as my face is concerned, same thing. I shave with baby oil, after a hot shower, any blade will work. Single blade all the way up to the most expensive blades, but I use baby oil. That's the trick. Baby oil. Alright? So, that's how I do it, alright? Razor down, so I don't get ingrown hairs, and then the uh, foil, the shaver, like a face shaver, uh, $30 face shaver, that's what I do. And you're done. That'll be it. Alright guys, I'll be back. Okay, sorry, so the cleaning ladies are here and I kind of rushed that, but that's the deal. Baby oil, razor down. That's how I do it, okay? And then, um, and you can razor with baby oil just about anything here. And then, um, or the micro screen razor, shaver. And for that, I just go this way and this way mostly. Um, like this. All right, and then of course it's just a mohawk, but not the back. I don't, you know, I don't mohawk. Oh, well, let me go this way because of the light. I don't go all the way down because I don't, I don't, you know. It's kind of like an extreme high and tight for the Marines, kind of. But my kids call it a mohawk. Uh, so that's how I do it, all right? So just wanted to answer that question, and um, I wasn't put off by that question. That's fine. So don't worry about it. Um, ask away. And... So the cleaners are here, so the next thing I need is uh, my guy to show up and all of my chores and tasks are done for the day. Not bad. No. Alright guys, so the cleaners came, they gone. Jay came, he's gone. He dropped the equipment off at like uh, 10 minutes after 3 or something like that. So it's almost 4 o'clock now, so I'm going through the vlog, I'm editing it. And we're going to put this clip up there. Uh, my house is clean, my car is fixed, my yards are done. Uh, my kids are happy. And we found this this guy, found this vagrant, so we brought him in, and uh, now that's our buddy Jay. You guys seen him, I think, in past videos a long time ago. Um, so everything's good, everything's done. Uh, who won last night? Cavs. That's right, go Cavs, raise the roof. First time Ohio won a championship in uh, sports since like 1960 or something like that. I think that was Warriors that won again last year, and they haven't won like championships for like. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's like ridiculous. And it's like the first basketball team to come back from three games down or something to win, win three games in a row. Yeah. So all types of history made for LeBron. And uh, Jay was happy about that. So we're cool. It's a good day. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's about it. So we answered a little bit of questions about the hair and fixed the car. We're good, man. It's a pretty good day. So tomorrow we'll be back at it. We'll be mowing. And... Uh, if you guys didn't go back to the weekend, Saturday or Sunday, I think I posted a video and I explained the uh, end results of the Mercedes damage that happened on Friday or Thursday or Friday, whatever day that was, Thursday. Um, so uh, Sunday's video was for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, everything that we did. And I put it up yesterday and then today. Uh, so we're done there. So this is a quick little 25, 26 minute video. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We got four days of solid mowing now and should be pretty fun so i'll see you guys real soon